Welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K17. In today's video, we're going to kind of be doing another what if. It's kind of going to be what if Lonzo Ball is drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I know all the crazy trade rumors that are going on in real life that the Celtics and the Sixers might be swapping picks. The Sixers, I think, really want Fultz, but so do the Lakers. So there's a whole bunch of craziness going on right now, but we're going to see, ideally, hopefully here, we do not not get Lonzo Ball. That's my goal. I don't really want to turn on trade overrides. It's just a pain in the ass, but... Hopefully, we maybe get lucky in the draft lottery, maybe get the first overall pick. I'm taking Lonzo Ball. I'm going to get Lonzo no matter what. Um, but, of course, let me know if you want to see any other teams, like drafting players rebuild. I already did a Markel Fultz Celtics, Celtics rebuild. I may do a Markel Fultz Lakers, Markel Fultz 76ers. Depending on what ha ends up happening in real life, that's what I'm probably going to be doing. So, let's just do this Lonzo Ball, the Sixers rebuild today. So, we're going to head over to league meetings. Just make sure to decline all of these. Up to staff signing, I think. Who's the, was it Brett Brown? I'm not sure if he was still there, but I'm going to take Greg Popovich. I really like Pop. Hopefully, he accepts our offer. Cool. Greg Popovich, welcome to the team. So, cool. We got a good head coach. That's always always very, very helpful. So, don't draft Kennedy Meeks. Okay. Dylan Brooks. Cool. What pick did we end up getting? We got the fifth overall pick. So, we got screwed. I am going to turn on trade override. Just get the first overall pick. It's really not that big of a deal. Just because I want Lonzo. It's it's the point of the video. That's why I'm doing it. I did it in my Markel Fultz video. Nobody seemed to mind that. So, I'm going to turn on trade override. Draft Markel Fultz number one overall. And I'll see you guys at rookie signings. So here at Rookie Signings with the first overall pick, I always took Lonzo Ball as I said I was going to. I didn't realize we had so many second round picks, so I took Alonzo Trier. I don't know if he actually went to Arizona or not. Cameron Oliver, I've never heard of this dude. And I've heard of Costa Mushidi or whatever his name is, but don't really want to sign any of these guys. Really just want to bring in Lonzo. All right, cool. We got that. Uh, Embiid's coming back. Robert Covington's coming back. I actually really like Robert Covington. Rashawn Holmes, McConnell. I'm good with all these guys. Okafor can come back. I'm probably going to end up trading him. Three? No. No, thank you, Nick Stauskas. Cool. So... I don't really know. I mean, we kind of need another guard on the team. So I know this isn't a great like shooting guard for agency, but Tiago's put it on the minimum. I'll take it. But I don't really know who else I go after, honestly. Because, I mean, Curry's a little bit unrealistic. But, I mean, right now, if we look at the positions for next year, Embiid's going to be our center. It's going to be Simmons at small forwards, Sarge at power forward, Lonzo Ball at shooting guard. So really, or point guard, excuse me. So I really don't know what else we really need. I mean, maybe... A point guard that can we just change to shooting guard? Because Lonzo Ball is a definite point guard. He's a very good passer, and he's a very he's great ball, great not ball vision, court vision. Excuse me. I don't really know. Like Chris Paul is a pure point guard as well. Curry, I mean, he scores a lot, so that's why I would say he can be a shooting guard. But I don't really know. I don't really know. Like I don't want any of these guys down here. I don't really think. I kind of want to save our money for next year. I think I might do that. So if I could get somebody cheap, if I could get like JJ Redick, I'm like, oh. Uh, Let's just go one year with a team option. And I'd be willing to give you, like, maybe 14 mil a year. Hopefully that should do it. Honestly, actually, I might have to pay for him even a little bit more. I might give him 15 just because I want to make sure I get him. It's only for one year. I'm going to decline the team option next year. Um, hopefully we do get him, though. I would definitely like to have J.J. Redick on the team just because he's a good shooter. I always like my shooting guard to be able to shoot. So hopefully we can get him right here. Maybe. Come on. Uh, cool. J.J. Redick, welcome to the team. He's only going to be here for one year. Um, so any other young guys I want to bring, I always like signing Jared Allen because whoever makes this draft class needs to update these guys overalls and be very, very nice. So I'm just going to sign Jared Allen, bring out, bring back the guys I have bird rights on. I'll see you guys at the start of season number one. So this is going to be the rotation for season number one. It's going to be Lonzo Ball, JJ Redick, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, and Joe Embiid off the bench. Robert Covington, Rashawn Holmes, Jaleel Okafor, Timothy Luwalo, and TJ McConnell. Uh, I'm not getting Justin Anderson any minutes, even though I kind of do like Justin Anderson in real life. I think he actually is going to be pretty good at one one day in his career. Uh, but I do want to get some backup guard minutes off the bench, and we do already have Covington coming off the bench. So it's cool with Justin Anderson not getting any minutes. So this probably is a playoff team, maybe low in the playoffs. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We do have that Lakers pick, so hopefully that can be pretty good, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. And here at the end of season number one, Kevin Durant is your MVP. 25 points, 9 out of rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 1 and a half blocks. He actually ended up deciding to stay with Golden State. Instead of going over to the Hawks. Actually, no, that's an offseason rebuild. Why am I saying that? Uh, Lonzo Ball, Rookie of the Year. Our very own Lonzo Ball. First overall pick, 12 points, 4.5 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, half a block. Very, very good rookie season for him. Uh, Dwayne Wade, Sixth Man of the Year. Hassan Whiteside, Defensive Player of the Year. Jerry and Grant, Most Improved. And Ron Adams, probably the Warriors coach because he always, Steve Kerr. Oh, for some reason, they never signed Steve Kerr. Ron Adams, yes, Warriors coach. 6'3", 19 for the Warriors. Not too bad. All right. 
We went 56 and 26. Not what I was expecting. I thought we'd be somewhere around maybe the seven seed, maybe maybe anywhere from the five to seven seed. That's what I was expecting. But not 56 wins and ending up with the second seed. That's not what I was expecting. Like I thought we'd be somewhere like around here, like 45, 47 wins. Of that would be ideally, but I don't know. I guess our team was just carried by Embiid. It was a beast. With 16 and a half points, eight and a half rebounds, three assists for a center. Wow. All right, uh, J.J. Redick was actually very good. 15 points. I'll definitely take that from J.J. Redick. Uh, then Simmons, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 5 and a half assists. He's a monster. Lonzo Ball, already ready with stats. Darius Sarge wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. 12 points, 7 and a half rebounds. Actually pretty good. 3 assists for a big man also is very good as well. So, all right. Uh, I don't know where I'm going right now. We're taking on the Bulls in the first round. I do have the reigning sixth man of the year and Dwayne Wade. Let's see. Hopefully we can beat them. Okay, and we win in five. Cool. Taking on the Bucks and Giannis. I don't know how the Knicks, who did the Knicks sign? I'm just interested. I probably shouldn't be this interested, but who did the Knicks sign to make them a three seed? Hmm, Taj, nope. What the, f oh, they drafted Josh Jackson. I would actually, I'm sure Knicks fans would actually love that in real life, but they lost in the first round, and we lose in seven to the Bucks. Bucks almost blew a three-win lead, but you know what? We, we exceeded my expectations. Bucks take the Warriors to seven. Kevin Durant, your finals MVP. Cool. All right, let's get into this offseason league meeting. It's going to decline all of these. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that we have the Lakers pick. I know I said before I started the season simulation that we did. I think we do. I'm not positive. I don't know if there's any protection on it. We have the Mavericks pick, though. And we had the Lakers pick, too, which is number 10, and we got 28. All right. Not bad. We have six picks in this draft coming up. I definitely do not want six picks. I think I'm going to try to package maybe all of these. Maybe move up to, like, all right, if I could just trade number 10, what could I get for pick number 10 right on the market right now? Because I would ideally like to move 728 in those three seconds, maybe to move up to number three or four. Uh, what could I get, though? Two first-round picks from the Celtics. No, thank you. Uh, 12th pick, no. White side, I kind of want to save money, though. I kind of wanted a player from last year's draft. Two picks from the Pelicans that are lottery protected and top 10 protected. I'll take it because they do have a star and a half in trade value. So uh, Jared Bayless is making $8 million. I'm going to trade him right now as well. Actually, you know what? I think I might throw him in a trade to climb this. I think I might throw him in a trade to move up. So let's see. Let's go pick seven, pick 28, Jared Bayless, wherever he is. Bayless right here. Who well, actually has two stars. This second, this, and this. Can I move up to the second overall pick in the draft? Who is... Who has a second overall pick? That would be the... Hold on a second. The... Sp How do the Spurs have the second? Do they still have... Okay. Whatever. All right. Let's try three. I think three should work. I, th I just... Saw I don't know how the Spurs honestly had that. Made no sense. Uh, eight million more. Do they really not have any money? God. All right. I'll take Iggy. God damn it. All right. Fine. Leave out Bayless. And I will give you this second as well. Damn. All right. You know what? Throw Bayless back in there. And I'll try four. Um, Bayless. And then who has four? How? Teams need to have salary. Or it's cap space. It'd be so nice. Who has pick four now? It is the Hawks, who do have cap space. Cool. I might have given up too much, but I also didn't want Jared Bayless. Second round picks are absolutely useless. So we do have the fourth overall pick now. Um, I'll hop into the draft with you guys right now just to see who's going to be available at number four. Uh, let's just sim to my pick. I don't even know who I'd really want. Like, what? Is, I mean, I really don't need any starting position. Maybe a shooting guard. Maybe if there's a good guard there. I don't even know who's really in this draft class, though. Actually, who's already gone? Uh, so, Dondre Aiden went number one overall, then Trayvon Duvall, and then Michael Porter. So, not one shooting guard has went yet. Is there a lot of shooting guards in this class? Leangelo Ball. Is he... Would he be in this class? No, I don't think he would be. That's not right. Okay, I need to get a new draft class, apparently. That's my bad. I think I'm going to take Hamadou Diallo, though. Cool. Welcome to Team Hamadou Diallo. Uh, I don't I don't think Leangelo would be in that draft class. It would have been cool to get him and his brother on the same team, but he's only he's in high school right now. I don't think he's a senior. I thought he was younger than that. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong down below in the comment section, but I don't think I was. I definitely need new to find a new 2018 draft class. Hamadou Diallo, welcome to the team, though. Definitely at least going to be a bench piece for us next year. So Simmons is coming back. Sarach is coming back. Okafor can come back. Holmes, yeah, all these guys can come back. JJ Redick, not for 15 mil. I'd maybe bring him back on something cheaper than that. 
And this is the year we're going to be we're going to go spend in right now. We're going to be getting some players try to help us win a championship this year because we should have a pretty good amount of cap space. And shit, I forgot Joel Embiid is a free agent, and you never have bird rights on him. Maybe I can get him to accept the qualifying. Oh boy, I might have to save money then because I forgot. I always hate it because Embiid is a free agent, but we do have around sixty three million. God, that's annoying. I'd bring in a Boogie Cousins. He's actually, honestly asking for less than I thought he would. Where he looks like he's going to be going back to um, the Pelicans. So Paul George would be nice. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. They, they like going back to their hometown teams. But Paul George likes us over the Pacers. All right. Melo on a mid-level exception. No, thank you. Aldridge, no, thank you. You know what? I think I'm just going to give Embiid the money. I'm not going to screw with it too much. Because I, if I lost Embiid right now, I would be so screwed. So true. I think I'm going to run Paul George at the shooting guard position. Mark's Cousins go back to the Pelicans. Joel Embiid, welcome. No! Oh, I'm stupid. I lost out. I didn't even look. You know what? Let's just try to sign Aldridge now and then trade him at the start of next year. I should have... The Knicks, really, though? The New York Knicks? That's where you wanted to go over this young Philadelphia team? Disappointing, man. Just disappointing. Um... I know Jabari Parker is probably going to get matched no matter what, so it's fine. Damn, LaMarcus Aldridge, welcome to the team, though. I'm definitely going to be trading him at the start of the season because I think... It, mm, maybe I'll trade him. I think I should trade him. Melo does not want a mid-level exception. I'm actually still salty about Paul George. I cannot believe that happened. Well, I do want Robert Covington back, though. Shoot. Uh, I'll give you 10 mil a year. Tiago Splitter if you want the men to come back. Cool. So I'm just going to resign these two guys. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. Definitely probably going to have at least one trade. Sure. So we are going to be making kind of a blockbuster deal with the Washington Wizards, sending them Jalil Okafor, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Justin Anderson for Bradley Beal and Otto Porter. I do like Otto Porter. He's definitely going to be coming off our bench. Of course, I like Bradley Beal. He was the main focus of the trade. He's going to be starting at shooting guard for us. Definitely rather have him starting over Hamadou Diallo. This team's looking very, very good at this point. Uh, a lot of guards, it looks like, off the bench. Uh, I do need to trade Covington. I also need to trade Luau. Uh We do need to pick up a couple backup big men because I did just trade Okafor. So, Covington... Let's do these guys separately. Covington, what can I get? Like, maybe... I don't even know. I'm trying to think of guys that are, like, around an 80 overall, making around 10 mil a year. I can't really think of too many, though. Let's just see what offers we get. Um, Brandon Wright. This is, oh, no, he's 31. Never mind. I thought he was young. Trey Lyles, honestly, isn't bad. But I don't want to give up TJ McConnell. Uh, Tyreek Evans, JJ Reddick could come back. Ooh, Montrezl Harrell. I actually really like him. I think I might take him. Yeah, Monsters L. Harrell, welcome to the team. We do need a backup center now. Actually, I want to just make sure the free agents is no one here. Brooke Lopez is here. God, why? Ugh. This would be so perfect because he'd be a perfectly fine backup center. Oh. Uh, this is so annoying. I would have loved Brooke Lopez. But I don't think he's going to take... Yeah, no, he's not going to take that. Damn. That would have been so clutch. So, so clutch. Bradley Beal is starting over Hamadou Diallo. All right. Um, I do need... Ooh, I forgot about Rashawn Holmes. I'm going to trade Rashawn Holmes. Luau's not going to get any minutes. It's going to be McConnell. I'm going to trade Rashawn Holmes for a backup center now. Uh, player, let's go center. Needs to be someone like around here, not making too much money. Like Clint Capella. That would be nice. For Rashawn Holmes. What's wrong? 76 years, $2 million more. All right, take, not Dario, shit. I mean, Timothy Wall wasn't even getting any minutes anyways. Give me Jalen Hands. God damn it, that's so annoying. Uh, I need somebody making literally a million dollars. Thon Maker probably has crazy trade value. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, one million more. Take Luwalu and give me your worst player, Derek Williams. Probably shouldn't go through, but I'd be willing to give up a lot of picks. I do have a lot of picks. This first, this first. I'm going to get it to go through. I'm going to give four first-round picks, which is such an overpay. But I do want Thonmaker on the team. Cool. Welcome to the team, Thonmaker. Definitely probably overpaid, but I think this team is honestly ready to win a championship. I do. I really, really do. So this is going to be the uh, rotation. I actually need to get a few more minutes, too. Um, to Dario Saric. Cool. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. So Dario is going to play 30 minutes for us. 31, actually. 
and I'll just give this extra minute to Thonmaker. Cool. So the rotation is going to be Lonzo Ball, Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, Dario Sart, and Joel Embiid. Off the bench is going to be Hamadou Diallo, Otto Porter, Thonmaker, Montezel Harrell, and TJ McConnell. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. This team is definitely possibly winning a championship. Hopefully we can get it done in year number two. And here at the end of season number two, Giannis Antetokounmpo is your MVP. 23.5 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. I really hope one day he actually is an MVP because he's an absolute monster. I think he will be, though. Michael Porter Jr., Rookie of the Year, 23.5 points. Nine, I need a new draft class for 2018. Josh Jackson, Sixth Man of the Year, 15.5 points. Not too bad for him. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Jason Tatum, Most Improved for the Mavericks. And John Smith, coach of the 59-23 Rockets, coach of the year. Definitely should have been Popovich because, of course, we were 64-18. and 18. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool. As I said, 64-18, first in the Eastern Conference. Seven games up on the Raptors, who really are not that good at all. Player stats in the year, Joel Embiid, let us in scoring. Then Bradley Beal, then Lonzo Ball, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, Hamadou Diallo, Thon Maker, Otto Porter. Uh, rebound was Simmons, Embiid, Saric, assist, Ball, Simmons, Beal. All right. First round, taking on the eight-seeded Magic. Uh, who do they even have? I'm trying to... Okay, doesn't really even matter. I thought they signed somebody big, but I guess they didn't. Uh, the Cavs... I should have slowed that. Fuck! I should have slowed that down. The Cavs win the championship. LeBron's a piece of shit. All right, going on to year number three. Cool. No problem with this. I think this is the first time we've actually gone on to a third year in quite some time, I believe. I think it is, actually. Uh, cool. We're going to have a lot of free agents, I think. Pelicans pick. Can I just trade all these? And Honestly, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to trade all those picks for future picks. Yeah, let's just do that right now. Trade this for a future first-round pick. Cool. Take two first-round picks from the box. really doesn't matter. Can I just trade these two seconds for... Fine. Take this. Honestly, just... Can I have this second-round pick? Whatever. Works for me. We are now... Oh my god, whatever. You know what? I'll take the 27th pick. Player contracts. And... Never mind, not doing that. So let's skip to team player options right here. Uh, yes, thank god. We still have these guys all on cheap money. I don't even know who's going <sighs> to. TJ McConnell will give the qualifying to. McConnell's expired. Oh boy, we have no money whatsoever. Damn, I would have really liked some money, but you know what? It's cool. Oh, this is such a nice draft class, too, but we are just so. Marcus Saul wants the mid level exception. That is so clutch. Mark Gasol wants the mid-level exception. I will so take that because we do need another big man off the bench, I think. Actually, no, because we got Thonmaker. But I'll definitely take an 89 overall Mark Gasol. This team is now officially beastly. This team is awesome. I do want to bring Jared Allen back because he was... I don't know. I like Jared Allen. Cool. Jared Allen, welcome back to the team. This team is good now. Bird rights on Tiago Splitter. You can come back if you really want us to. Cool. I'll see you guys at the start of season number three. Not sure if I'll have any trades, but I'll show you guys those trades if I do. So this is going to be the rotation for season number three. Lonzo Ball, obviously the point of this video. I actually really haven't mentioned that that much, but I kind of forgot he's the point of this video. But he's going to be our starting point guard. Then Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, and Joel Embiid off the bench. The beast, Marc Gasol, who took a mid-level exception as a 90 overall. Uh, Hamadou Diallo, who they want to start for some reason, but I still do want Bradley Beal starting. Uh, Thon Maker, I changed him to a power forward because we do have Marc Gasol, Otto Porter, and TJ McConnell. See you guys at the end of the season. This team is very, very beastly. Hopefully we can finally win a championship, though. And here at the end of season number three, Kevin Durant once again is your MVP with 23.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, 2 steals, 1.5 blocks. He's a monster still at the age of 31. Uh, I did an auto-generated draft class, so this dude, not a real guy. Laurie Markkinen, 6th man of the year. Interesting for the Kings. Uh, Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Malik Monk, most improved. What team is he on? He's on the Timberwolves. Interesting. Greg Popovich, finally coach of the year. We went 72-10. and 10. I believe that's... Four games better than last year, if I'm not mistaken. I thought we went 66 and 14 last year. I thought we did. Uh, we were 22 games up on the second seed. Magic duo of Markel Fultz, they have Gary Trent, Kawhi. Shit. That wow. Okay. Uh, stat player stats in the year: Bradley Beal, Edison scoring. Then it was Lonzo Ball. Then Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Marcus Gasol, uh, Hamadou Diallo, Dario Saric, Don Maker, Otto Porter. This team was just so, so good. Rebounds with Simmons, Embiid, Sarge, Assist, Ball, Simmons, Gasol. All right. Let's not try to lose. Uh, who do the Celtics have on their team? Let's just look at it after this. Ew. George Hill. Don Ford. Muhammad Bamba. They still have Jalen Brown. Al Horford. Mitchell. Ew. That's 
Jesus, no, thank you. Uh, we should sweep the Celtics, honestly. We do. Taking on the Bucks in the MVP from two seasons ago, Giannis Antetokounmpo, but we win in six. Taking on this beastly, beastly Magic team, which you could very well could argue is better than us. Maybe not all around better than us, but they definitely do have a better small forward than us. They, def they probably have a better point guard in Markel Fultz than Lonzo Ball. This team's just insane. Come on, let's win. Oh, no, we're down 2-1. No, we're down 3-1. Oh, you know what? I might start Hamadou Diallo. I might listen to 2K and start Thonmaker as well. I'm going to listen to 2K, I think. I'm going to let them go with their rotations that they suggest because typically this works out better. Can the Magic blow a 3-1 lead with Kawhi Leonard, who's an absolute monster? All right, looks like we're winning game number five. We won. All right, game six in uh, Orlando, and looks like we're blowing them out. We are blowing them out of the water, and we are going to a game seven. <sighs> we're in Philly. Come on, Philly. We are blowing them out again. The Orlando Magic just blew a 3-1 lead, and we are going to the NBA Finals to take on the Golden State Warriors, who I do not think have lost a single player. No, they have not. But they still have a beastly, beastly, beastly big four. All right, it's it's time. We're going to win. Are we sweeping them? We sweep the Warriors. Lonzo Ball, Finals MVP. How fitting. We made a video about Lonzo Ball. He's your Finals MVP. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this Lonzo Ball Philadelphia 76ers rebuild. If you did, make sure to like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Let me know any other player team rebuilds you want me to do next. That really made sense. Uh, definitely not a bad team overall. It's clearly not a very hard team to rebuild because it is the 76ers. A lot of young talent, a lot of cheap contracts. But... I think I might do a Jason Tatum, like, magic rebuild next. I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to think. I, I, maybe Timberwolves, Jonathan Isaac, but I know Six Strings of Steel just did that. So let me know any other rebuilds down below in the comment section, along with any other suggestions. If you have a good draft class for 2017 or 2018, let me know. Really just 2018, because I have a good 2017 one. I'm kind of, kind of. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.